Hi everyone, I'm Scott, one of the engineers here at Patch My PC. Today, we're going to look at the Intune apps for Patch My PC Cloud feature. Head over to portal.patchmypc.com, click Sign Up, and enter your Microsoft account details. Once you're signed in, you'll be prompted for some permissions, which are covered in our documentation. And once you click Accept, you'll be taken through the rest of the registration flow. Here, you'll be asked to either select a company or create a company. So let's create a new one. I'm going to select the EU for my company's data. I'm going to enter a company name and a country. And then click continue. Now, on the homepage of portal.patchmypc.com, you will see the option to connect to Intune. When you click connect, you will be given an explanation that this is a preview feature. Once you click accept, you'll be asked to sign in again, and this will then prompt you to create an enterprise application. All the permissions listed here are also in our documentation. Once you click accept, you will be taken back to portal.patchmypc.com and asked to either start an Enterprise Plus trial or enter an existing license key, which is minimum of Enterprise Plus. There is an option to change the plan that you wish to trial, but for now, Enterprise Plus is the minimum and recommended. You can enter your number of devices, let's say 100, and click Start Now. You will receive a notification that says your 30 day trial has commenced successfully and you'll now have access to the application catalogue within portal.patchmypc.com. If we click on environments, we will see the Intune connection that we just created. From here, you can disconnect that Intune connection. You can see your existing license, if it's a trial or a full license, and on the right hand side, you can edit that license and enter a license key and view existing license details. If we go back to the application catalog, you'll be able to search through the catalog for the applications that Patch My PC supports, for example, Google Chrome, Notepad++, or Microsoft Edge as some examples. You can also scroll through this list and see the full catalog uh, that is available to you through portal.patchmypc.com. You can sort this by grid view, list view, app name, last updated, last modified, and you can filter by some different values as well. For now, let's focus on Notepad++. You can see the app name, the vendor, the version, the available languages, available architectures, the last time the app was updated and modified. And if you select that app, you will be given more info, which gives you the description of the application and the option to deploy that application. So let's click deploy. Here, you'll see some general information like the application's display name, the language you wish to publish that app in, the architecture of the application, the install context, and the installer type that is available for this application. These may vary depending on each application. We'll click next, and it'll ask us for some configuration so we can add a pre or post install script or a pre or post uninstall script. Here, you can provide a script name and a script format. We support PS1, BAT, CMD, and VBS at this time or you can import an existing script if you want to. If we scroll down, you'll see the install parameters provided by Patch My PC and the ability to add additional command line parameters as well. Under assignments, you'll be given four options, available, required, update only, and uninstall. If we select available, you'll be given existing Entra ID groups and the default all devices and all users groups. When you select all devices or all users or an existing group, 
under available, you'll also be given the option to create an update only application to keep that available application up to date. Here you will see the available and update only assignments that we created. You'll be given the ability to add any filters which are pre-created in your environment. You'll be able to change the notification to hide all, show all or on restart and the delivery optimization priority from foreground to background and delete that assignment if you want to. You can do required. You'll see the same Entra ID groups and the all devices and all users groups. The same applies for update only assignments. And lastly, uninstall assignments. For now, we'll stick with an available assignment and an update only application for all devices. We'll click next. We'll see everything we've configured so far for Notepad++. We'll see that we've automatically enabled conflicting processes. There is no install logging available or self updater available for this application. We can now see that that deployment has been successfully created. So if we navigate to the deployments view, we will see that that deployment is now in progress. That deployment will take a little bit of time to complete, so we'll come back to that. In the meantime, if we look under the events view, we will see the deployment that we just created. We will see the engine connection that we added earlier and we'll see the company that we created at the very beginning. If we click on the deployment for Notepad++, we'll see that it was my user that created it and we'll see all the other relevant information about that deployment creation. If we click on settings, we'll have some different options here. Under company, you'll see your company name. You can add a billing email. You can change the country. You'll see your company ID and the location of your data storage. You'll also see some customer support information, which will be in our documentation. Under users, you will see any active users in your tenant, their role, the last time they logged in, any pending invitations or any pending approvals. Here, if you click invite user, you'll be asked for their first name, a last name, an email address, and whether they are to be full admin or a custom app admin. Under branding, you'll be able to upload your own banner image and set your company name for the branding application. When you click save, we'll create that branding application in your tenant and this is what customizes the branding for managed conflicting processes for your Intune apps within Patch My PC's cloud portal. You can reset that to default or recreate the branding application if there's any issues with it. If we switch back to deployments now, we'll see that that deployment for Notepad++ was successfully created. Now that it's been created, you can view all the information about that deployment and you can edit that deployment as well. Here you can see the assignments that were configured for that deployment. You can see general information like the install context, installer type and things like the built-in update configuration. If you click edit, it will take you back to the wizard we saw previously and you can click recreate, which will recreate that deployment should there be any issues with it. If there's a newer version available, you'll be able to click update now, which will update that deployment to the latest version and you have the option to delete that deployment as well. Now let's take a quick look at the application in Intune. You can see here we've created a Win32 app for Notepad++. You'll see a lot of the telltale signs of a Patch My PC application. Under properties, we'll see things like the name, the version, the description and the logo. You'll see Patch My PC script runner as the install and uninstall commands. For detection, you'll see 
the custom detection script and you'll see the assignments that we configured within portal.patchmypc.com. That's everything I have for you just now. Thank you for your time and please check out the documentation at docs.patchmypc.com for more information.